Well, that went genuinely bad. The 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 Frostpunk game. I mean, I I played it because I thought I'd be a bit more careful, but then I remembered why I didn't play it. So after about an hour of playing that, I just decided not to bother anymore. But while I was talking there, I, I began thinking about what were the games that got that I that made me discover simulation games, made me discover my passion for. It. And here we are. Welcome to Satisfactory, a game where we are to, to remaster and remake this entire world ourselves. From nothing, we will create something, and so many. I hope the stream will be doing well. The game is a little bit heavier-handed. I remember how well the Trackmania stream went. So I'll be keeping an eye on the stream as we go along. It wouldn't be the first place that messed up as I started this. There will be a couple of lag spikes because this game's a little, well, let me try, wait, let me just settings one more time. Uh, video, I'm not taking any chances. Oh, yeah, this is nice. This, okay, this is a bit better. I don't have the frame rate on screen, but uh, Satisfactory is technically still in early access. Has been for years, annoyingly, but we are at the point. Now let's see if I can remember how to play. Step one, we have to create our home base. This is where we will start our journey to glory. All right, let's give ourselves a little bit of a view, shall we? Oop, things are happening, things are. All right, we have everything back up. This will be our little spot of paradise. And don't worry, I'm seeing these lag spikes too. This is just the game. All right, now to build the space elevator. <laughs> hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have enough resources to do so right now. So, I thought I started with them automatically. Did I not? Do well, would I get him through this chest? No. But now we can all sort of start. Let's take in everything in. Okay, this is this is our HUD, which will allow us to slowly build more and more of these milestones we could be checking off. Yep, we got an autosave coming in. This is where we can craft some materials. Well, first we have to find these materials. So we have to press V. Now we can start searching. Uh, I believe the first thing we search for is iron. Alright, looks like all the iron is over here. Yep! Hold up! Marching forward, off to infinity. Eh, a little far from my base. I probably should have... I should have checked before I, I, I placed the base down. Eh, I'm sure it's fine. See? All fine. Alright, what you gotta do first is collect the iron ore. Let me start by grabbing all of this. Then you build actually I probably should move this closer yeah because I'm like looking at it Oops. Oops. how close is the copper for you oh yeah yeah I definitely need to have moved it yeah, it was the right choice to move it. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is as good a place as any.
Yeah, iron over here, copper over there. Yeah, this place is a lot better. You want to be near your resources generally. Let's see here. Okay, here's all my equipment. Here's my weapon. Ooh, let me just... Okay, and this is where I can start setting up some equipment. Normally, I would set up the portable miner, but instead, I can make a miner! Ha-ha! I tricked you. You were deceived. All right, now we just need to power it, which we can do luckily thanks to these bad boys. The biomass burners we start off with. Okay, we just need to, let's first set up one of these. Okay, what's going on? Um, what did I do? Uh, by the way, guys, I don't know what's going on, why I have the menu up. Okay, guess I fixed it. <laughs> I think it may be because I pressed... Like I said, the game's still in early access. <laughs> Has been for years. Uh, let's connect some wires here. Okay, good. Now, step... Let's make this storage container. We can put our stuff in. This is where we'll keep this iron. Connect it over to here. See? Now we got an now all we gotta do is power it up. And we'll have an automated flow of pure good old, old uh, iron to us. Now, how do we power it? You may be asking. Well, it's quite simple actually. We need biomass. Now we can get biomass a few different ways. Now we could just put these leaves in like as they are, but we get a lot more value from them if we make these biomass with it. Now all we have to do is throw it in. This is something you've got to pay attention to. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, go, I'll get to that when we have time. All right, now. If all of my math worked out. Da 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 da. You'll have a steady stream of iron coming in. If you come in, produce, it'll head all the way over here to this little storage container. I'm a genius. Okay, and these are different. These are for unlocks. As you can see, we can pay these milestone costs and we get all of these things. For example, uh, if we get this done and we can do all the bunch of base building, we get this done, we get a bunch of logistic stuff, you know, like conveyor belt splitter, conveyor belt merger, a conveyor belt lift, and we can see how productive our stuff is. Field research gets us access to a map. Uh, a molecular analysis machine so we can start scanning stuff. Inventory, hand, some some more stuff. We also got this for assembly. All right. So I think we should prioritize. Uh let's see here. What should I I, I think we should go for hmm. I'm gonna prioritize this first. Now, head over here and get a little bit of, and we can make some more biomass real quick. And if we ever need some more biomass, we can just pick up some leaves from around the ground. Eventually we will unlock the chainsaw. I am very excited for that. Unfortunately, we're kind of in a desert area, so I think the biggest obstacle we're going to be running into in this playthrough 
would be the uh, lack of trees. I mean, we do have trees in every direction, but uh, you know what I mean. Well, I know the chainsaw is eventually unlockable, so and that's gonna be our biggest choke point. We probably should prioritize that. Obstacle clearance. Here we are. Here we can start making stuff. We can make it by hand, although there are things that allow us to smelt it ourselves. That's going to be our next little assignment. Okay, production. We'll be making a smelter. With this. Connected back to this power line. Have it more easily make a bunch of stuff for us. Just to make sure everything is working right. Let's just go ahead and uh, fill it to the max right off the bat. Now it will slowly and surely be making these iron ingots for us. And we also have another thing that if we wanted to, we could automatically make it into a certain material. You can see if we can go straight. This is iron. And it's going to take a minute. So how's everyone doing today? Our first priority will have to be getting as much use out of this as possible. Yep. Need to. Uh, sorry, sometimes I notice the chat is down. I, I try to look at it frequently, but you know, kind of hard to do when. Uh, sometimes I just try to forget. I'll just go ahead and uh, throw all this in here. That way, I don't really have to think about it much. <clears throat> right. This this stream is brought to you by Pepsi. Or it's not. No, it's not. It's Pepsi Zero. No, no, not neither is that. It's just it's just me goofing off. Right. As you can see, we need uh 500 screws, which is which is a little bit easier than it looks. Every screw, every single like. So as far as I can tell, every iron ore translates to about four screws. So we need about like, see, one, one iron ore makes an iron ingot. One iron ingot makes an iron rod. One iron rod makes four screws. I just can keep clearing this on. So I'm thinking about how often I should be streaming. Like I want to be able to get this to grow. I don't. I don't think this is going to be a career. No, no, I'm not. I am not under any delusions of making this into a full time job. For me, that is a pipe dream. A scenario that'll never happen. Although I would be very happy if it did happen. I think uh I think a streamer's life would be pretty cool, but I'm under no delusion. And if you are currently thinking about being a streamer and trying to do it full time, uh know that it's not gonna be easy. Like right now I've been streaming for a few weeks. You're not gonna instantly get like a million subscribers or even a hundred or even a dozen. Or even like 10 subscribers. I've been doing this for a month and I 
I have four. That's fine that I have four. Do I wish I had more? <laughs> that was almost almost began as a cat as a Dr. Seuss little line. Do I wish I had more? Of course I wish I had more than four. I'm not very good at that. Uh but I'm keeping I'm keeping on. Like or my real hope in all of this is to eventually get to a point where I can start. I don't think doing this full time is the right. To the point where I can start connecting with other people. Like I should be active in more communities. I just it's so I can spread my message and play games with people all over the world. That's what I want to do right now. So if I can be able to make some friends, play and play some games, and generally, I don't know, maybe build like a small niche community, then I think I'll be happy. Problem is, I have zero idea how to do any of that. I don't know how to advertise myself without making myself sound needy. I don't know what special skills I offer to the table. Heck, even now, I, I don't think this whole... What I'm saying right now was really, really that big of a deal because I'm sure it's something a hundred other streamers have said, a thousand other streamers have said at some point. I'm just sort of getting it off my chest. Wow, that was a little bit heavier than I expected it to be. That just kind of all happened. I do apologize. <laughs> uh, and I perfectly counted it. 500 screws on the dock. I'm just watching this go like huh? 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 Okay. There we go. Alright, you have your five hundred you have five hundred screws right off the bat. Now I need to make now I need to work on my uh getting these cables in. And now I've ran into a bit of a problem. Now I gotta make a bunch of other stuff, so I gotta start off by making this miner. Or, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, these are enemies, these are enemies, bad, bad enemies, bad enemies! Ow. <laughs> Damage to fix it, to, to uh, fix it property detected. Those of you who don't know, uh, fix it is the fictional company that put me here. They sent me down here to colonize the planet and you know you use it and be the only guy here oh well, they send other people for sure but uh those people i can find in the crash sites hmm. yeah there's literal crash sites you can find you can find good stuff on it all right i need some rods Really hope we don't need plates, because I've kind of uh, bottlenecked that whole industry. Is that the right word? Bottlenecking? Uh... Okay, then I make a constructor. Right here. All right, all of that is set up. Now we can start making the... Oh, oh, focus, 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 focus! All right, we good? Now let's get to work on some biomass. Do I, already, do I have any biomass in my inventory already? 
Uh, I've got a little. Listen. Move it there. Connect. 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 So I'm going to make this turn uh, the I the copper ore into copper ingots. I'm going to make this become wire. Now the pace should begin. Certainly going in this direction. Okay. Now I need to start like making sure while that's going on, I'm going to be making sure I have some uh, all of the biofuel I need. Why is this still an exclamation point? All right. Or I could also be working on my limestone. I just saw that. Limestone. Uh oh. <laughs> I like that. Limestone. Click. Uh oh. <laughs> It's kind of fun whenever there's a little bit of a fun game that happens whenever I see like there's someone else in chat. I'm wondering if it's someone I know or is it someone that like stumbled onto this. If you're someone I know, don't mention it because I don't want anyone uh fine because uh, I don't want anyone like don't give like names or anything. That's if someone who doesn't know who I am. Um, hi, welcome to the stream. I ain't doing much right now. Uh -oh. oh no, more of these bugs. Ow. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, they automatically die whenever you kill the main pod. Cool. Oh, this is it. I'll be here for a minute. The problem about these sim games is they start off fairly slow. Bum bum dun 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 bum 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 ha 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 bum 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 dun 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 bum 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 While I'm over here, I might as well uh grab one of these Portable miners and let that get to work on this area. I'll let you deal with that. Oh, I don't like how purple the sky is turning. I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. Ah, ah. Have a dad sneeze, so what? That's a, this has been bothering me a little. Something off screen that you will never see, but, but just something that's a little annoying me. Ooh, there it is. All right, this flow goes over here, this flow goes over here, and... Oh, I've run out of power. That's run out of power. That means that's run out of power. That means I need to get to work. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Flip this in twain. That means in half, basically. I think I saw jumping around here. I'm seeing things. Okay. 
go ahead and get rid of the rest of this copper in my inventory. Kind of self-respecting man uses copper. Silver at least. I straight up forgot what I was doing. I am sorry, GE chat. I was just staring at it like, uh... You will find out that will happen a lot with me. I am sorry. Ugh. Right. How many... Uh, still could use some more... Now we gotta work on making some concrete. Oh no, I did not have as much as I thought I did. All right, guess I'm uh, I'm gonna be making some more biomass, but I've got a lot of wood this time. Where'd I get all this wood anyway? Alright, I gotta split up in my inventory so I can give this a hundred and fifty. I can give this a hundred and fifty. Now for me to focus back on finding the line. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Hey, bud. How you doing? Yeah. I think I'll have enough. I think that's just enough to get what I wanted. You you saw how much better wood was in terms of like getting us biomass. So this should be our next like non problem. Hub. Now let us. Oh right, right. Oh wait, no, still, still enough, still enough. Okay, cool. Ugh. Yep. Refreshing the chat. Sometimes, um, my uh, my uh, YouTube, my YouTube chat, it just doesn't. Okay, this is gonna sound a little confusing. So usually when I start OBS and press uh. Start streaming, start start broadcast. A chat box opens up just so I can see all of chat on there. Watch this together, guys. Bye. Watch as it goes. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, like usually OBS opens a chat for me so I can see everyone in chat right now. But for some reason, I hadn't been doing it the last few broadcasts, so I had to open up YouTube on my phone. So I am watching my broadcast right now. Oh, on my phone. I'm seeing the delay, by the way. 
Like, as of now, I'm still watching the thing fly away. Just to give you an understanding of the scale. But, now that we have all that figured out, so I'm just watching the chat on there. Uh, excuse me. I believe the next thing I should be thinking about is, uh... What is the next thing I should be thinking about? Oh, uh, let's do... Let's start thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Let's go ahead and start by making some plates. Ooh. Excuse me. Wait, how do I... Where's the uh, option to... Okay, I remember there's something I can make. Oh, the craft bench. Right. So the craft bench. So the equipment workshop. This is where we'll be able to make a bunch of stuff for us. I guess you can see our main goal right now is uh, a little out of our reach. Chainsaw. But it's okay, we can get it working, we can get it all figured out. Okay, uh, let me just, uh, I know there's something, I, oh, add to do list. For now, let's take off the, uh, that, so we can just focus on what we need. Ooh, and you also see how you can make solid biofuel, which is a lot more efficient than just regular biofuel. So let's just go ahead and make some of that. Okay. By the way, there is a bit of a cooldown for how many milestones you can send out. As you just observed. Grab all of this and grab uh, all of this. Now let us a bit more. All right. Uh, what am I looking for right now? What am I looking? Oh yeah, yeah. We need to make uh, 1,600 of these, these screws. Well, first, let's make one more of these uh, plates. I'm planning some more non-gaming streamings in the future. Oh, I just saw something that's a little weird. Let me adjust. Uh, oh, wrong thing to adjust. Sorry, I just noticed that my, uh, that something I have isn't aligned right. But I fixed it. Luckily, I finally fixed it. Actually, let me, let me take a look. Yeah, so now I'm back to work. So if you're wondering what I was adjusting, uh, I was adjusting that my VTuber avatar had a little bit where you can see where the cutoff is, like underneath my body. Like I do not exist from the, uh, from the, uh, from the core down. I don't exist. I'm just kind of there. I just kind of float. We all float over here. Okay, now we can just make ourselves a chainsaw. All right. You can call me Chainsaw Man. Now, watch the efficiency. Oh, the 
Did that not look amazing? Some of these even still. It, it, this isn't just one item at a big item at a time. This is AOE. Find the purchase you need and strike true. Ha ha ha. 15 wood in a single stroke. That may sound wrong. I apologize. <laughs> oh, let's look how much mass biomass we're making. It is mass produced at this point. And I can easily make that to so much, much fuel. Now, got to keep things going as much as we can. Ugh. How's everyone's weekend been going? Good? Bad? Somewhere in the middle? Mine's been going okay. You know, I, I've i been streaming basically all day. I did a bunch of Rune Factory earlier today. Uh, I'm going to be honest. These have been seeing kind of longer recently. Work has been going okay. I did buy a few things. The other today, I spent like two hundred bucks today. Like, but don't worry, it was all money. I was, I didn't take anything from savings. I was just, I have this. I work in a job where I get tips, so I use my paycheck for savings, and I use my tips for personal, like personal expenditures. Uh, yeah, I bought. So and I and I had some good weeks in terms of tips. Like I'm making easily 200 or 300 bucks a week. I think this week I made uh Yeah, I I work on a I get paid bi-weekly and this week I didn't earn get the money, but I did make in total a good bit. I won't say the number. I'm not that bad. But yeah, I, I, I can do well. So, I first thing I bought was... Uh, I bought a new table. Because mine is really, really small. Way too small. I have two screens. One of which is my laptop, which I'm running this whole stream on. Which is uh, not good. Very much not good. I do not need to be running this on a laptop, but I cannot afford a desktop right now. Well, someday, when I start saving for it, but not now, I just need to be saving. Yeah, that's, that, that's like... I don't know how long it's going to take before I start thinking about that kind of purchase. Because that's, that's going to be a really, really big purchase. Like, and also, I'm also need to save up for like my own VTuber model. Like, what I've got going on right now, it's okay. Uh, it's like it's just all right. Like, it's free. It's free and it's good and that's amazing. Thank you again at MayGB. You, 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 this free model you gave you have available is amazing. By the way, shout out to at MayGB. I don't. Nope. Oh, I hope at least you do okay at. Uh, hold on one second, chat. Uh, I am really warm, so I'm gonna be adjusting the temperature real quick. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't even start going on my small break on the the thing yet. I'm it's that it's that weird time of year where the 
temperatures fluctuating so much you have to constantly adjust the thermostat. My thermostat works that it's either you set it to cold or warm mode. Basically, if you're higher than this, the current temperature is higher than desired temperature, switch to cold. If warm temperature, if current temperature is below desired temperature, switch to heat. So now I've just reached this awkward time of year where I have to constantly switch through it. It's not, it's not unreasonable to live with, it's just kind of annoying. Now we have to focus on logistics. We're just keeping making stuff. Need more of these iron. Oh. Uh, hey, real quick, I'm going to need you to change to something else. Yeah, uh, go ahead and make some plates for me. That might be a bit better. You can see productivity. Uh, oh, wait, no, I can just put these in. Okay, that should get you work in a maximum efficiency. All right, uh, putting these in. Got enough of that, got enough of that. Still need some more metal plates. Okay, cool. Oh, the other thing I bought was uh, campaign books. I bought, I've been trying to, I played this RPG system called a City of Mist. It's a really, really cool system. But I, well, I was only playing the starter version with me and some friends. I actually went out and I bought like the players, like like the rule books, the player's guide and the MC's toolkit, I think it's called. Both of them really, really like this is, the game is going great so far. So, so to give you all, to give anyone who sees this an explanation, uh, there's more RPG systems than just Dungeons and Dragons. D and D, really, really, I would say it's an unfortunately very good system. It's very uh, multifaceted, but and and has so many resources made around it, and so much fan community made around it. Like, like it's really easy to play and get into and get started, and a load of people know it. It's what I like to call a good common language game. Everyone knows it. Everyone's played it. You couldn't avoid it if you tried. Some people have tried. Some people like saying, oh, but Pathfinder is just as good. I will. I don't know. Uh, Pathfinder, I haven't really tried it as much. Just never had an opportunity to. Sorry, I'm just sort of jumping around. This is like what, what I like to do while I'm waiting. I just like to jump around an area. Well, might as well, well, I might as well just like keep harvesting stuff. Uh, yeah. So as I was saying, what makes City of Mist unique? Like, it, like it's one of the tabletop RPGs that are somewhat new. I think every RPG system has its own pluses and minuses. Dungeons and Dragons is great for telling like an epic fantasy story. But it's got its own internal lore to it. It make it a little frustrating to play for outsiders. Like, it's easy to fix, but like I said, pluses and minuses. Because d and is good for large fantasy stuff. City of Mist, a lot of tabletop RPGs sort of compensate by it by telling its own internal story with its own internal rules and lore. And some of it can be very niche. So, so what City of Mist does, it's a game about uh, avatars of gods or concepts or beings sort of waking up within new people, within re basically reincarnating in, well, kind of. Okay, let me explain to you like this. Uh, let me break this down. Uh, in the world of City of Mist, the city... It's specifically like never given a name. People can awaken to different base concepts. Sometimes it's God or famous people in history or fairy tales or even concepts like hunger and rage. 
and they sort of gain what's called a mythos. Oh, okay, now, okay, now I unlock logistics, cool. You unlock a mythos, and it's sort of balanced by your real-world logos. Depending on who you are as a character, you may have, like, a few points in the mythos while only a little bit in logos, or the other way around. And you're going through this sort of urban fantasy or urban noir type story while balancing these godly concepts or these powerful concepts or trying to overtake who you are as a person. And, that, and like me and my friend started, like one of my friends suggested that I try it and I'm the I'm the permanent DM. Like that's a role I have accepted and fought for. I I feel a little too much anxiety as a player. That's one of the reasons I'm a little nervous to play Baldur's Gate on stream. That and uh I don't know how to switch off the adult mode. Anywho uh, one second, gotta readjust something up and over. I have to readjust something real quick, my one sec. Right. Oh. And was I just oh yeah, I was just pulling that back up. Uh City of Mist, right. A friend of mine I, I like being the DM. I like playing the I like creating the story and helping people through it and also have a degree of control over everything. But there is up to a point. And, like, I will stay that way. Like, so when someone suggests me a new RPG system, I'm like, okay, let's do it. I want to see it. I want to try it. I need some cables. Okay. Like, I love trying new RPG systems. It can be very expensive because books are like 40 to 50 bucks sometimes. But it's so interesting to see what other kind of stories you can tell. How the story and syst how the system can shape the story. There are some, like, things I've tried that I don't like. Like, fundamentally. And the problem is, in order... The problem is, in order to, like, get a good grasp of a system, you got to basically understand it at its base level. There are some systems I just don't gel well with. Like, World of Darkness. That is not any of those systems, like Werewolf or, uh, or Vampire the Masquerade. They just don't work well with. I've tried them so many times. Well, not so many times. I've tried each of them once. <laughs> One I DM'd and the other I was a player for. It's just the hopelessness of the world and just how dark everything was. I didn't like that. I don't like stories without hope. I don't like grim dark to the point where it's annoying. If that makes sense. This thing. Oh, I still need those cables. That's what I was going to grab. I just... All of those things... Just... It's not a storytelling decision I would make if I was making it. I would make bad moments, don't get me wrong. I would make time, times where, there, where things feel hopeless. But if that's the status quo, and there's no expectation to get out of it, then it's not... fun. I want to be in worlds that seem interesting, not worlds that are just downers that kick you while you down while you're down. So yeah, some systems I don't work well. With. Like any of the World of Darkness stuff, especially. I need a a constructor. All right, I need uh, materials. Two wires and uh, eight to reinforce. Uh, 
All right, that's not giving me as much as I as I expected I would be getting. I'm going to uh, head back to the, like the storage. Other systems I've tried that I've liked. Uh, I tried Call of Cthulhu. I liked that system, but uh, my players didn't like. One of my like one of the players I regularly play with says that he prefers systems where they're not playing as regular people. Like we were running like the starter or campaign, uh, like the starter set base campaign. You know the little taste you get in every starter set. And he was like, "Uh, yeah, we're normal people, and that's just weird to me." So we stopped playing that. I'd love to give it a try soon. Maybe not that I have a bit better. I I think that that would be a perfect place to set an SCP themed themed tabletop RPG. That would be amazing. Just reflavor things a little. Bring it a bit more modern. Uh, blah, wow, my voice broke right then. I do apologize. Production uh, constructor. Two reinforced plates. And eight cables. That's easy. Okay, we can this put it here. Oh, I need more cables. Dang it. I was thinking, should I make more cables just in case? No. And what other RPG systems have I tried? Uh, I own a couple of systems, but I just never had time to play them with anyone. Like, I don't have, like, a regular group that's, like, really easy to, like, try new stuff with. Like, most of my group are scattered. Like, my main group, they're scattered throughout states. Like, I got one who lives relatively close to me, one who moved pretty far away. And one who just outright lives in a different state. But, uh, yeah, we're, yeah, we we still get it, it together regularly on the weekends. Not weekends. Uh, we get, eh, we get together regularly. I'll say that much. Which, we've made time and room. So I think we're okay. Now I make this into rods. And now I make a merger. So I don't. A merger? Do I even have enough room? Uh, okay, I, I can... All I gotta do is move this a little. Production, organization, construct. Like, one of the ones I own that I really want to try is uh the avatar the last airbender yeah that came out recently and i really and i own it and i really want to try it i'm not able to at the moment because i uh you know i already got so much going on i really do want to learn the system i want to be able to create the characters because i love avatar the last airbender that's one of my favorite shows growing up i am a human being so i do enjoy shows i so i do enjoy avatar the last airbender You know, I, I have a pulse. All right. Uh, okay, this is the... All right, let's see what else I can do. Uh, field research. Uh, oh, this looks pretty good. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too concerned about base building. Like, that's not something I'm worried about, personally. Yeah, I own the starter set. I just never had a chance to, like, sit down and play it. Maybe I can get, like... Maybe I can get someone to sit down and play with it with me, but I just... It's hard, like, one of the reasons I stick to d d is because there's so much online resources. 
like just so me and my friends can sit down in Discord, do a little bit of theater of the mind, and just hang out. Like one of like some of my friends can't even play on a computer; they play through their through a mobile device. I don't know if they, but we've been making it work. But it works mostly because we're working with D and D and the occasional other system. But we don't have the time to like sit down and like try new systems constantly. Another system I've been wanting to try, I want to do superhero stuff. I have superhero. I have written down superhero storyline. I haven't like fully written them. I just like wrote down con like come up with concepts in them that dance around in my head. Kind of like an imp kind of like a gremlin that just keeps messing with you, but in ways it gives you creativity but no motivation to do it. Like I have a universe. I want to talk about that. Heck, one of the things I hope to do is talk about it on stream. I'm just trying to build an audience for that first. Trying to make sure I get this all right before I start, move on to projects that I really, really, really want to do. I want to make sure this stream, get all the kinks out with the streaming and the audio and the latency and all that stuff and make sure all the privacy works. That's the way I think it does. Here and field research ready to launch. Ooh, new email received. Uh, so I and and you know Marvel. Okay, here's the time I got a little screwed over. Uh, I was playing Marvel Multiverse. Uh, I got the Marvel Multiverse play test material. You know I. You know, it was like a, it was, it was a bit of a, I, I got it first on like physical and I only got it on physical and now apparent, I was expecting them to change maybe a few things and maybe release like an up, maybe like give like a, like, but apparently they changed the whole darn system. Yeah. The whole darn system. Ma'am. I just saw the name of it. It's M A M, but I just said ma'am. Okay, uh let's throw this on. Let me just go ahead and do a little constructing. So, yeah, yeah. So, I'm stuck with the playtest material of a game that doesn't work and doesn't exist. Apparently, if I bought the digital version, I'd be okay, but I didn't. I get I would have gotten some kind of upgrade. I outright didn't. So now I just got to kind of have to save my money so I can grab that, but I don't want to start it unless I know I got people I can play with. Does that make sense? Um, just construct the ma'am. I'll put you... I like having all of my, like, building resources right next to each other so I can be like, a shop front. Uh, do I want to do work on my equipment today or do I want to do some analysis? Celia? Oh, okay, the second research. Cool. Alright, this is an area, the ma'am, the molecular analysis machine. This will give us sort of a research tree for us to work on. Like, uh, as you can see right here, if you unlock things, you can start researching them. If you grab, grab enough of it, you'll be able to start making some pretty cool stuff. Like, uh, right, I need some biomass made. Like, you can see how, I, how good this mycelia is in terms of making biomass. That I got from researching. So always do your research, folks. <laughs> okay, that's the fabric. 
What is that unlock? Oh, that made me able to make fabric. Cool. All right, uh, an extra hands tool slot. Uh, what is this stuff? Pollen resin. And a tool belt and parachute. Parachute looks makeable. What do I need to make it? Fabric needs mycelium and biomass. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make some um, um biomass. Oh. <laughs> Made a little too much and now I'm low on mycelium. Uh, mycelium is a mushroom thing, I believe. I need to start cutting down some mushrooms. Are very fun to do. Okay, ooh, and now I can equip my weapon and my chainsaw in the same all the same time. See that is working smart and hard. Hmm. What other RPG systems do I have that I want to try? Um I talked about this in my intro, so I I'm not sure. Like, maybe I'll occasion one day give Pathfinder a try. I hear a lot of people saying that's like D&D, &D, but better. I think that may just be a little overgrown, but I'm not sure. Overblown, not overgrown. The two different things. I don't even know what it means to be overgrown in a game. Hmm. to gather oh okay these are wood i can this is wood i can gather cool back when i got that wood earlier uh yeah what was i saying something about yeah rpg system there's also apparently a konosuba one that i own i asked for for christmas this one year and i got it i just i didn't don't know what to do with it now that i have it uh <laughs> i hear it's pretty good Make sure I got 10 of these babies. Yep. Now I can start just worrying about like biomass and all that stuff. All right. Uh, next up, I'm going to need some cable. I'll go until I have 20, just in case. Don't need to be there. Research. Oh, I can make a parachute. And I need 50. Oh, you won't need more than 25, Alistair. You'll be fine with just 50. Yeah. I even my own ramblings against myself make sense. <clears throat> mm. How do I unlock this research tree? Need the right materials, maybe? The metals. Uh, don't. Hmm. Weird. Well, better, better start this research at least. All right, I made a parachute. Oh, this is the object scanner. Do I already have that? Ah, well. Let's just uh, work on the next thing. Uh, resource sink, so I can just start making stuff. And, uh, huh. Maybe I should start working on the elevator. Yeah, that that's all seeming realistic. Hmm. The main trap I always fall into when I play this game is I always do just make so many generators. Just so many of them. I'm just, uh, but I gotta make some right now. Start by picking this up, the miner, and I get all the stuff in there. So now I can make the, our, the, my, okay, let me just, okay, uh, where is it, 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 Miner. I need more. 
I need more concrete. Dang. All right, all right, I know. I know the rules. Okay, uh, well, let me just go ahead and make sure I got everything I need. Uh, one miner. Uh, one constructor. I need something, oh, a bio, no, I don't really need the biomass burner, do I? No, I've got what I need. Like, I've got enough stuff for that. So let's just go ahead and make sure I've got everything set up. Okay, I need... Let me take off the uh, elevator so I can focus on just what I need. I remember seeing like 510. No, no, I, I needed much less than that. I'm, I'm good. Okay, right, let's start constructing, constructing, constructing away. Right, I got as many as I needed. One, two. Just need the cables. Oh, we should make a couple more just because I just realized uh, I'm going to have to wire all this up. And yeah, not a big deal. And uh, do I have enough for organization just to make another? Mm, could grab a few more rods. Right over here. All right, uh, start with making that miner. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the right way. I may not be going the right way. Uh, I'm going the right way. All right, now I got to start wiring everything up just so I can get a steady stream of... Oh, I need more concrete. Ah, great. I'm always missing something, and that's what infuriates me. If I was missing a lot of things, at least I can say, okay, there we go. But nope, I just apparently need some more. <laughs> Whew. All right. Now we play the hold down button game again. I don't think I need lime for anything else. Limestone? What's that again? Let me double check. Limestone, okay. <sighs> you have another sneeze coming on? Nope, apparently not. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good, apparently. Okay, while I'm here, I might as well start, like, lining up the lights. Just making sure everything here goes to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just realized there's a design flaw in my little plan. So, okay, yep, um, oh, well, maybe, hmm. How much power does each thing take? Because here's the thing. How much do I have left in there? Okay, I'm using at maximum 13 megawatts. Capacity is 20. Well, this gives me a maximum of 17. This has 20 megawatts. If everything flows the way it should, if I exceed 20 megawatts, the whole system breaks down. So I need to start figuring out what's taking up the most energy. Let's see here. I need to make sure it doesn't exceed 7 megawatts. Okay, this does 5. And this does... 
four. Okay, yeah, I need to build another. I need to build another biomass burner. Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm feeling. So I th I'm probably gonna do another stream tomorrow, cause just because uh I got nothing else going on tomorrow. And this is just a great way for me to like unwind and just. I have this problem. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's been something I've been struggling with for a while. Sometimes when I have nothing to do, I just lay in bed and watch YouTube. And when I get into that position, I just start... I start vegging out, and I get mad when someone interrupts it. It gets me a lot of YouTube watching, but it just messes me up a lot more than I wanted to. Like, I just get so lethargic, and I'm just laying in bed doing nothing. So, another reason I started streaming, like I mentioned before, is that uh, I'm just more doing something. Maybe it's still not, like, ultimately productive, like most people would assume stuff should be. But it's also less something. Like, it's a hobby I enjoy and I'm passionate about. And it's something I've always kind of wanted to do, and I even did a little bit of that. I even did a little bit of it. it well, I made videos, and I learned I'm not a great editor. I'm trying to get better, but I, like, I don't want to, I don't want to quite put it in, like, put anything out. I'm not 100% happy about it. Because I feel like, what's the point to make something that you're not happy about? Okay, now let's build that constructor. And this is something I can do instead, you know. I can still get a little bit of my YouTube watching, like, in the beginning of the day. But I always... It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't just keep watching the same videos over and over. And that frustrated me. I just kept falling into that trap over and over. Because it was comfortable. It was safe. And the few times I could play the games I wanted to play, I just never felt any passion to do it. I was just doing what I could. Why isn't this productive? Oh, right. No power yet. No power yet. That makes sense. So now I'm kind of just doing this so I can be more active. Even if it's just a small thing. Something that's important to me. Ever since I got my job, I've been having the ability to spend money on things I I want to do. And I'm passionate in doing. I just think that's kind of neat. So if this turns out to be nothing, at least it's nothing I'm not using. Spending in bed, laying around, waiting for another opportunity to come. Waiting for something better to happen. Waiting for my chance. Because I fell into that trap. I, was, I had gifted kid syndrome. Want to know what that is? It's a magical little time in which you are really good at what you do and when you were young you were really good at school you understood the systems you understood how to learn things everyone praised you for being so good but the problem with but the problem with that like like i remember when i was young i went to uh i went to like i i, had, I was in a gifted class and and we did a bunch of puzzles, a bunch of logic things. Like, I learned chess through that. But ultimately, when I stopped being good at something, I... Well, let me take that back a little. I learned that... that I learned how to be good at things. How to... I didn't learn how to be... How to get good at things. I learned how to... Make... I learned how to just be in a better position. I learned how to 
levy the good things, the things I was good at against the things I was bad at. I was great at pattern recognition, so that helped me out with multiplication tables. But when I started struggling on things, I just said, that's life. I didn't worry about it. Because why should I? Not anything I'm immediately good at, so I shouldn't bother. And then when I got later in life, and the first time I was actually legitimately challenged, I fell apart. I was miserable. I went through, I had the best year of my life that was quickly undercut by the worst time of my life. I had, and my only, my only chance for like, my best chance for like real greatness, I let it slip through my fingers. Because I didn't know how to apply myself. I didn't know how to be good at, get good at things. I didn't know how to take the bad with the good. I just was focused on the good. I lost one of the best chances I ever had in my life. Hey, I'm getting a little emotional. Uh, <laughs> but I'm here now. I'm trying to build things up. I'm starting to be good, start to learn how to get good. So that's the lesson. Get good. Yeah, don't be good. Get good. And if you are good, get better. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think there's enough emotional weight in that. Uh, man, I took myself up a little. Anyway, back to this, to this uh, automation game. I'm just rambling. I apologize, everyone. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Just uh, an edited version of my uh, talk. Just, just so I can get used to editing a little. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little proud of that. I said everything I wanted to say. I tripped over my words a little, but I said it. I got the words out. Eventually. <laughs> hmm. Oh, right, I need to set the constructor! <laughs> uh, memory! Not a good thing. Now I let it flow, flow. All right, I've got that set up. I've got that set up. I've got a little bit more, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now what's next? Well, let me f survey my kingdom. Hmm, I'm a desert everywhere. I've seen a lot of stuff pop up in that direction, but I don't see much happening over here. So it might be a good idea to go explore that as soon as I just drop off some of my stuff. I don't need this. I don't need to take this. I don't need to take that. Uh, I probably need some food. That I don't need the limestone. Definitely not. Uh, the concrete can stay as well. Uh, maybe I'll need some raw materials, but, uh, but I don't have really enough for base building. I, I think I'll be fine. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. Uh, probably should keep, like, some of the biofuel. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Especially don't need that. Uh, let me just go ahead and make myself some solid biofuel so I can make sure I'm not out of nothing. I wish I could find a better way to increase the efficiency on this. Oh, I can just hold down space as well. Oof. How did I even get started on talking about, like, my past? Congratulations, class. You have, you've gotten my level 3 heart event, which means you have unlocked my tragic backstory. Oh, <laughs> uh, you haven't even unlocked everything. 
Oof. All right, that, that's good enough. Like, I've, I've wasted enough time. Now, it's me and my chainsaw. Call me, call me Denji. I'm a chainsaw man. So what are we looking for? So, what else are we looking for? Things. Are we going to be specific? No. Should I have done that? Probably not. I was curious if I just float down that way. All right. Hey, big man. How you doing? Hmm. Raw quartz. Okay, cool. A good re a good trip has already yielded results. And we didn't have to go very far. Let's see what's up here. Rock formations could what the See in the bottom we have directional stuff. That running pause. Oh! Ah! Ah! Bad time for a lag spike. Bad time for a lag spike. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I killed him. Aha, take that creature defending your home. Thanks, Ada. Ada? Ada? I don't know. Ah, well. More food! Oh, no, I remember this. Do I fight it? I remember just being around it was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, see, see. Okay, yeah, you do your own thing over there. I'll do my own thing over here. And uh, we'll call it a day, okay? Okay. What is that? Is that another tree just... Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, 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 okay! Oh. I don't think I like hanging around around here. Okay, another enemy. No problem. Hold still, will you? Yeah, there we go. See, you ain't that tough. All right, I think I, I think I think I've grabbed enough stuff. Let let let's start heading on home a little. I was kind of hoping for, like, one of the berries so I can get that last, like, food thing to scan for. But, uh, I think I'm good where I'm at. I ain't the one. I'm no hero. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, some pure iron ore. That's kind of cool. Huh. Well, this I can see as being a lot of ex expansion in the future, if needed. As an industrialist man myself, I can see potential out here. And you know, I'm not cutting down as many trees, so it's not as bad, right? Hmm. I wish I could sleep through the night. Like, I know there's... <laughs> I totally forgot about this thing here. Uh, okay, now expanding to Fortuna 3. Join us on the... <laughs> oh, wow, this person's not happy. 
Not that bad. Four lev sucks. All right. What does this say? Well, I'm getting lore here. And Monica. Okay, Becky was here. And Monica. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? Was I here with someone else? Huh. That's the first bit of lore I remember. Oh, I remember this. I, I played this a little. Okay, uh... So let me show you how to play this game. You start off with like a little bit of an area. And you have a time limit. So you gotta try to fill as much as you can within that time limit. And as you can see, different things are worth different points. So, uh, like here, and you can fill them quickly, you get bonus points. Uh, and if you can't fill any more, you just send it out and you get, and you bank some points. And you get a bonus if you bank every, if you get every point. Like, fill the whole thing. Which you can imagine is not an easy thing to do. Uh, uh, do I have time? Do I have time? No, no, I don't. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Alright, just gotta put this in and send it out. And you can see occasionally you get these very annoying little blocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got I, I just automatically gotta get a new one, don't I? I think the farther you go, like the more you fill out, the more like things you get, like the better like Oh boy. Don't quote me on that. Send! Okay. And the more you fill up, the better you do. Uh, let's see if we can get three stars on this. Uh, okay, right off the bat, I see potential. Layer these together. Mm, that'd be nice, but... Mm, mm. Yeah, I've lost the fill bonus on this one. Oh, 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 oh. no, no, I wasn't gonna get that anyway. You can see you get us, you get the fill bonus. So if I, well, so you get the more of this multiplies. How do I get that? How do I get that? How do I get that? Okay, cool. Whew. I'm not going to get that one. That one's just a lost cause. I'm going to get two points no matter what. Ooh. No, no, I'm not going to get that one. Yeah, well, I'm not in the way I thought I did anyway. Uh, pull this out a little bit more. Nope. And it automatically sends it out. I need to get 10,000. Well, not 10,000. 1,000. 1,000 is all I need. I just heard something growl outside. I'm going to be playing this game a bit more. And not worry about that. Ooh, I think I've got a pretty good score. Uh, good chance here. Okay. I wonder if there's like a complete fill bonus. Ooh, I can't really add anything to this. Okay, gotta send it off. Don't even need to think about it. Don't even need to think. There's the mind killer. However, that mind killer.
Mm -hmm. Okay, gotta send that off. Mm. Oh, that shaking is not helpful. Not in the slightest. Ah. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere on this. Uh, what? Okay, what can I be starting to work on? Hmm. Setup upgrades. Right. Oh, right, right. And the mams. Oh, I could have been doing that the whole time. Let's start by giving ourselves a little bit of with the quartz. Right? Cool. Quartz crystals. Alien organisms. Okay, cool. Okay. Just start scanning for this. Ford. Or can afford this as well. Okay, I'll grab this real quick. Organisms, and I can research this. Okay, let's see what this all makes me. It makes me protein. Ugh. Ah, delicious. Whew. Another day, another dollar. We'll get to work on all this. All right, let's see how my uh, most recent endeavor is getting me. All right, let's see how much limestone I have. Oh, I got about uh, 200. Already, I got about 200. That is why automation is very useful in these kind of games. These are the kinds of games I like because I can automate them rather easily. So, like... You saw how difficult it was just for us to get a hundred of these things. Now we got two hundred and we didn't even have to think about it. Launch! Now for the next milestone. I think we're going to be working on... Uh... Ooh, this is going to be the point where things start getting a little complicated. And I don't have to worry about that until it's all simple. All right, I'm going to head out to the Wild Blue Wanders. Rather, I'm going to be heading out to this area with the mountain. I'm kind of curious about what's over in these mountainous. What am I going to find? Well, obviously more things that want to kill me, but other than that. Ooh, that ch is that a cave? Oh, that is an enemy. That lag spike hit at the worst time. All right, I got him dead. Plasma spitter. Ooh. Oh, I remember these. You can use them to sort of overcharge your, your stuff. Getting a few at ooh, spikes. Floating rock, floating rocks. 
Loading rocks. All right. Let's see what's over this way. Ah, spider. Yeah. What? Ah, man, that was easy. Now I got it. Floating rocks. Guide my way. Sorry, chat's been down for a second, so, uh, you said something, I do apologize. I uh, no one comments on these. What do I care? Oh, whoa. Ain't this beautiful? Okay, that looks way too perfectly square. I've got to investigate that. Wait, does my does my weapon have a limited amount of energy to it? Just look down. I saw that bar next to it. Uh oh. I saw something. Oh, that ain't right. Oh right, this is that. Uh, oh, there you are, you little. Oh. They go down when I hit him. Okay, I know this. This is that. Uh, this is a work in progress thing. Uh, so more soup sloop. Ooh. Like that's on a perfectly square thing. It does not inspire hope. Inspires a little fear, but not hope. And unfortunately, we like, we do not like, we like hope here. Do not like fear. Here's the mind killer. <laughs> I need to stop quoting that. That's... I saw that movie once in theaters. Like, the new one. I haven't seen the old one. Well, the new one was pretty good. I liked it. Bauxite. Whatever it is, it's pure, so... Well, this is a pure note of it. So, if it's something you don't have, something you don't know what it's useful for, grab it! Hmm. Our side, like... That, between that square and that seemingly built pillar over there, it makes me believe there were some people here, but like some form of intelligent life here, but I'm not sure. I do wonder if this game will ever have an official release. Like, it's a good game, and it's fine where it is, it just doesn't quite feel... Like, I feel like it should have already been released. And there's just a few more things I would like to see finished. There's less lag spikes. Figure out what the summer sloop is. That would be nice. I'm going to go over it. You know. Not because I uh, particularly dislike it. I just want to get up. I want those berries eventually. No, I will. And I feel like there's more of a story here. Like Ruby saw what happened with Me with Betty and Monica. Like, who are those characters? Was I supposed to be here with someone? Is there more lore here that I'm not seeing? I'm not gonna know until the full thing is done. Ugh. <sighs> Every now and then I can I probably shouldn't sing it's YouTube. You thought about a song? Copyright strike. No, I I haven't gotten that yet. So am I a real YouTuber yet? I have not seen the wrath of the copyright. Something to think about. Let me just uh Ma'am, I have some uh, questions. 
Uh, spitter remains. Let's just go ahead and do that. Cool. Next up, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, something on my desk was uh, on top of something else that was on my desk. Uh, mycelia. I don't quite have that last thing yet. Okay, uh, still need some frames and such. Ooh, power blue power slug. All right, now I need yellow and lug scanning. Oh, this will unlock. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Blade Runners. <laughs> do we dream of electric sheep? Or do I? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean robots. I don't want to say a word. Right. Ooh, I can construct the last few of this. And unlock more of that. One, two, three. Cool. Now I can go ahead and make these. Uh, it, make these uh, bio organic property or an alien DNA capsule. Okay, what can that give me? Okay, a uh, protein inhaler, which will. Oh, medical inhaler. Okay, this will give me. Structural analysis, inflated pockets, and what is this? Scannable enemies. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Can I just unlock uh, these uh, bioorganic capsules? What do these do? Uh, I'm guessing they're like food. Uh, oh, I've started running out of things going on. No power. Allow me to fix that. The easy fix. I just need to go over here, grab all this, and reintroduce it back to its natural habitat. All right, screw, 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 screws. I think I'm at the point where I need to start worrying more about making more of this. Okay, so what's my plan? Do I want to worry about making a whole separate thing for screws? Break that off? Uh, is this working at maximum capacity? Is this working at maximum capacity? Okay. Hmm. Is this working at 93% max capacity? Working at 46. And this is like, this is working at, hmm. What's that? Okay, what, what gives me that ability to see production level? Productivity levels. Is that something I already got or? Okay. Going at uh, 94. Okay, 15 per minute. 15 per minute. Okay, it's going at a pretty even pace. 
So this is okay. This, however, is getting a little slow. So I know how to fix this. I'm gonna make a power shard. Then I can open up this bad boy. Oh, I can't yet. I have to unlock overcharging. My bad. What's this? Oh, this is. Okay. Right. Gotta figure it out. Okay, power slugs. Uh, what do I need to learn how to overclock? Okay, I just need a. Uh, <laughs> I just need some more plates. Easiest dub in the world. Oh, I even got some uh, iron ingots in my inventory. That's that's pretty good. Now to start my research. Oh, great. Okay, I just realized that the last of my power shells. So I need to make some more screws. I need 200 of these so I can make a lot of, so I can start making a way to scan for slugs, get some slugs, and put them, and start increasing efficiency a little. Let's right here. Now I can. Where is it? Oh, right. I need to make that uh, object scanner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, add to the do list. Oop, uh, I got that figured out. Need some more plates. What do I need four plates to make this? Like even if I was constructing a box, I need six. Boom. Boom. Oh, and now I need more screws. Wonderful. Nor Boris. Except of screws. It's a very weird Ouroboros. But at least I got what I needed. Let me just uh, temporarily place my weapon with my... Not that. With my scanner. Uh, nuts, mushrooms, slugs. Oh, went over in this direction. Uh oh. I see it, I see it. Those bugs still following me? No? Good. I want them. I don't like them. Oh boy. Uh, I think I have fall damage in this game, so if I fall, uh, that's gonna hurt. It'd be awful. Those slugs. I hope they're not. If they are, I'll be mad. Well, I'll also be happy, but I'll be a little mad. I had to climb all this way. And there was uh, three of them over there. Oh, 
ao I accidentally still tuned to the wrong thing. Alright. Uh if you need me, I'll be heading back real quick. You know, nothing against you guys. I just, you know, I had this thing at home and I uh... Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Now I can make these into power shards, increase the efficiency of all my stuff, and I can start expanding the work. Construct this into power shards. Keep power shards somewhere safe. And start upgrading some of the efficiency of this. I was only increased. And not quite increased to, to enough to be problematic, but no kind of work. All right now, the enough this will be made, and these that everyone will be happy. Right, right. Uh -oh. Well, eventually, this is going to get to a point where it's too much to handle. And then this will reach maximum capacity, which it apparently already hit. And this will be slowly increasing more and more. I know exactly how to fan the flames a bit more. more. Oh. The way I can increase efficiency is to. Uh, yeah, I could have just made a second smelter. <laughs> Full time, I could have just made a second smelter. I was looking at everything. I was like, everything is coming together beautifully. My evil plans. Mwah. Oh, wait, I could have just done that. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's, that's stupid. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me just... Deliver? Well, no, I need cables. Uh, and this has been steadily building up. Once it hits maximum capacity, it'll stop up. I heard that. That was a little spooky.
more of this. I don't think there's any way I can construct. There's well, there is a way I can construct. It just seems like a little bit of a waste to, to make this uh, solid biofuel make it a bit more automatic. And besides, let's be honest, it, it's, it gives me something to do while I'm waiting on something like some materials to be made. Just just when I'm idling and just thinking about nothing. I need a power. Got the power. And make the constructor. Not yet. I need some plates. Yeah, I don't know if I need two or four, so I'll make four and since we're gonna have spares later. Alright, this whole thing is just so I can start mass producing screws, because that's my current choking point. Don't forget that. All to make some screws. Constructor. Let's go right. And have a look. Ooh, it's uh, not good. Let's try a little bit more like this. Oh, yeah. I, I, mm. Okay, let's see here. Screws need. Wait, I need two. I need another one of that. Uh, constructor. I need more of the. Uh, there we go. Cables. And I use my and I use the power of technology to throw it back over here. And in that time, and we were hitting maximum efficiency on the, the on side A. Okay, the rods are now officially moving at maximum efficiency. We have done it, folks. As the and what's the current status? Uh, still at seventy one percent efficiency with the metal, but I have a feeling that's about to change very soon. This and very soon, this will be moving at maximum power, at twice the speed it was before. Thus guaranteeing. Yes. Efficiency has officially been doubled. As you can see quite clearly. The constant att attaining of new materials will keep it constantly making sure that it can keep constructing at its best pace. Never be without once. Iron. Let me, okay, let me go ahead and put some, some in here, just as a test case. 
just making sure that's right. And that's right. All right. So screwed. Now I gotta start making more of this uh, biofuel. I realize I'm, I, I probably need some more sales. We're increasing efficiency, boys. What does alien protein do? Ooh, that is really good. Gotta keep my eye on the price. Eye on the price. A hundred just for one protein. Easy. I need. I, I need to this. How do I? Okay, easy, easy, easy done, easy done. I figured out a way to increase my efficiency of making some of this a solid biofuel. I'm gonna make myself a mini setup. Okay, that I can actually spend a little time on now that I look at it. Now I'm free to just make this. Do a quick little organization, make another one of these. Uh, not quite there, maybe a little bit forward a little. And just uh, kinda connect one of these. One more of these. Connect this to this, this to that. And one more over here. And just keep throwing in some of this. Keep throwing it in. Put up the maximum stack. Okay, cool. All right, and now I've got a steady speed. Making of all of that. Oh wow. Uh, screws apparently are a lot more efficient to make than I anticipated. Well, of course they are. Hold on, I just realized I really should have been a bit smarter than that. Okay, so I'm just going to make one of these. Just. Of course, it'd be a lot more efficient if it's done that way. Yeah, because you make, you make like so many, you make like six screws, you make like a bunch of screws every time you do that. Of course, it'd be, it'd be a lot of this product. That's gonna be get pretty big, pretty quick. Let's test everything else's efficiency. All right, this is moving at ninety-five percent efficiency, which is good. Could be better, but it's good. Let's quickly test out the uh how much is how much is this taken right now? Ooh, uh Okay, so when I make one it has a maximum of thirty, but the ones I get starting out, that's just that's just twenty. Or the one okay, that that makes sense. So how do I work on that? Oh here, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh that place it instead with uh this one. That way that one will take a little bit less energy. Okay. 
what's the uh, cost right now? Okay, that is good. The cost of the main problem. Uh, ooh, that is running at better efficiency, so I can increase a little bit. So, Okay, that's still moving at decent efficiency. All right, I think I've got a pretty good thing going on right now. Okay, yeah. Just uh, sort this real quick. All right. Efficiency has officially been... Increased a dozen fold. What's uh okay, what's this? Oh, okay, okay. Uh yeah, I need to uh can I be a bit smarter about that? Um maybe I can make another storage container real quick. That player's in the way. Uh Just uh, put that there, this over here, and just constantly be shoveling the biomass in there. Both moving and good efficiency. All right, now I don't have to worry about all that anymore. I got all that handled. All right, everything is wired up and everything is about ready. The only thing I could improve at the moment is uh, the efficiency of making the I like make maybe put a maybe separate these out a little, make a splitter so I can keep making uh, cables as well. Hmm, I might do that. Not that. Um, I get a splitter right. If I could, could fit a splitter right there, that'd be amazing. Oh, clipping may occur. I don't particularly care about clipping at the moment. Maybe. All right, no, there's an easy fix for this. Splitter. The one in there. I will make another constructor. Right. Oop, I need cables and plates. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Go ahead and uh Cool, cool. All right, just gotta, and then what we do now is a little bit of a sneaky. Nope. Tell them, you just gotta figure this out, man. Like, what are you doing to yourself? Like, this is stuff you should be knowing. Like, you're even saying it out loud, the things you should be doing, but you just. <laughs> Don't do it. I do like how, it, how it's not like you can't do that. It's just eh, maybe a little, it may look visually kind of annoying. That, that, that's like a system that, that understands how this game works. Then I will take all of this. Make some of that. 
that goes and a great big smile. All the way over there to that guy. Take this, put you over to the new guy. Yes, he is. You, I want you as cables. Then we make another organizer. Start with the basic, and then we can just put in, well, why not make this easy on me? What am I doing? Like, this is just a little too complicated. Oh, uh, that's why. Uh, there's not enough room. Uh, okay, uh, let's do a merger. All right, now I've got the split going. And just to make sure it gets a good, it's a good enough start. Boom. <laughs> now this thing will be constantly chugging on, making more, making more and more cables. And more and more screws over here. I've got everything down, like everything the constructor can make, I've got it making. So well, so. A little bit of a jungle, a little bit of a mess, but it's a mess that's working. My goodness, that is a mess worth making. I need to make about 70 more of these screws so I can do that by hand pretty easily. Even though I have everything automated, it's always just a little bit like more convenient. Just sometimes just make the stuff yourself. Instructed by hand, make and put it in. That way, even though things may be a little, I needed a uh, hundred and fifty cables. Okay, cool. That way, everything can chug along at its own pace. More work you put in now, less work you have to put in later. More resources you make by hand, and the less resources you're taking from the main pot. So you can just ba ba boom, ba ba boom, and make the rest by hand. Ah, oh, isn't this lovely? Just a beautiful plan all coming together. Man, I don't man, am I a dog? Like is that is, is that what these ears are? Are they a dog? I don't even know. Okay. I, I mean they look very fairly fox like. Am I some sort of kitsune of some kind? Oh. Ah, now comes for the part where things get complicated. We need to start making an assembler. That's the only way you can make some of the really, really good stuff. Or the really important stuff, I mean. So what's next on the agenda? Uh, logistics, part two. This is just that easy. All right, first off, we got to make sure we have everything. I know he's not dangerous, I just don't trust him. Whoa, big guy, whoa, whoa. Down boy. You don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. That's the code. Right? Good. 
I gotta start like worrying about how to make it. Uh okay. Okay, uh the step one I have to do right now is that I gotta start organization. And we don't have a lot of space over here. So a little bit of vertical space. Never hurt anyone. All right. Then we can don't have to worry about this anymore. And now we can just put all of this over here. Hey? Okay. Hey. Okay. Easy dub. Now everything is separated to its proper place, and if we need something, we can just take it from the assembly. Easy does it, right? Right? Definitely. Okay, let's see what the assembler makes takes to make. Ooh, that's a part I don't, I'm not quite used to making. Okay. Uh, I need a certain part. The rotor. The rotor needs a lot, some screws, plates. Go ahead and make sure I've got a little bit of everything. What was I making? Oh yeah, the assembler. Need. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Now I need some reinforced plates, and I've got just enough to make all of them. Nice. You know what I like about this game? You know what you know what I like about this game instead of the Rune Factory? I actually have a voice. Like I I I I kind of shot myself in the foot by constantly making voices for that one of those characters. Don't get me wrong, I like doing it. It just kills my throat a little, you know. All right. All right. The first thing I should be making is reinforced ar armored. This is uh let's go ahead and grab uh all of this. All right, a little bit of power. Or I can steal power from another thing. Uh how much power is this gonna need? Fifteen! Wow! Okay. Uh, that's a lot. Let's, uh, get, get that, uh, splitter. You know, let's go ahead and put that splitter on. Merger on. Ooh, what was that initially? Uh, I guess if I don't need it, I'll. Okay. Clipping maker. Um, uh, it's okay. I don't really need to worry about that. Okay, uh, okay, and that'll be the screws. Now I just need to split with the iron plate. Oh, is this not working at max efficiency anymore? What's going on here? Okay, I know you should be working a little bit better than this, man.
Oh. Triple gold be Oh, because I started okay. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah. M my bit my bee. My bee. I need a too much better efficiency, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like a hundred six. Yeah, yeah, I need some idling work. Well, that's annoying. I gotta build another like kind of annoying because these seem to work well. Oh I know. My logistics will handle it. Hey, this is, hey, this is my splitter. I will now use it to split this loop. Right now, I should have a little bit of help, oh, and now I will be making some power. Quick little, little, uh, now this will be making some plates. We'll be moving at a reasonable efficiency. And I can uh, make this organizational thing. And go ahead and put in some power. I don't want to put in too much, but I can put in a little bit. Now, it's not going to be the best efficiency. Right off the bat, it's going to be very small, but all I need is just a little bit of work for this thing. Like five a minute is fine. Not great, but it's fine. Hey, worst comes to worst, I think I can adjust these things. No, I can't. Thought I could adjust these splitters. Say, hey, right now you go that way. Or hey, adjust the ratios a little. Maybe that's a different milestone. All of this. Get all of this. That was a little disturbing. If you didn't catch that, it said multiple fix it 
individuals in the area proceed to harvest before it's too late. A little concerning. I really don't want to be scared. I really don't like to be scared. Okay, what's what's going on here? Okay, easy fix, easy fix. I think I'm gonna... The way things are going, I think I'm gonna end it for tonight, guys. You know, this is a lot of fun working on a whole area again. Playing this game is so much fun. I just do it in burst and I just forget about everything. And this game is hard. Like, get your crisp wraps back. Get your focus back together. Ah. Hey, you lose it for a little bit. You've lost it for a while. So, all this was really fun. Um. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you very much, class. And you are now dismissed.